Oh boy. <laughs> What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It's amazing how you have too much flame, it's dark. So, it's been a while. It's been about two weeks since I've been home. And, you know, um, it doesn't take long for the grass to grow crazy and stuff. The plants have all started to come out here. My uh, his, uh, uh, hostas and stuff are popping up and things. And the leaves are on the trees and the helicopters. I hate these damn helicopters. You know, they, they, from the damn maple trees. It's like you got to rake leaves again. <sighs> Spring is in the air. And the draft is this week. We got our live stream finish tomorrow. Game time, Brian will be here. David Wiley will be here. And early Wednesday morning, we'll be hitting the road going to the Motor City. And I can't wait. Oh, my God, I can't wait. Because as Cowboy fans, it's all we got. Now, I got to say, man... <sighs> I don't know why I attract so many trolls. It's crazy how many of them that I attract. That literally their whole life is hating Dak Prescott. Trade Dak, trade Dak, trade Dak, trade Dak, trade Dak. First of all, first of all, with the way Cowboys trade, do you really think the Cowboys would actually get value for Dak Prescott? Remember, we got rid of Barry Cooper. For a fifth round pick. Think about this now. We got Amari Cooper. We got a fifth round pick for him. But we spent a fourth round pick. For Trey Lance. Now I keep hearing all these people that say. You just hate Trey Lance. Oh my god. No I don't hate Trey Lance. I don't hate Trey Lance. Not at all. But it's not going to matter. If it's Dak Prescott. Or even if Trey Lance has the skills of Dak Prescott. Because if the Cowboys don't do more to put a team on the field, it's not going to matter. It's not. I know that you guys want to say that the Cowboys have had all kinds of great weapons. I'm sorry. When I looked at CeeDee Lamb, Noah Brown, and Michael Gallup as my wide receiver core, a Zeke Elliott who was going downhill... Tony Pollard, who is a gadget guy, and rookie tight ends and Dalton Schultz, I'm not looking at the same talent level that the Eagles had or San Francisco. Not with an offensive line that was literally having Jason Peters, who could only play for about 15 games, 15 plays a game. And a rookie starting a left tackle. Sorry, I'm not going to give you that. I'm not going to give you that. But here we are on the draft and we've heard so many different scenarios my man game time Brian his dream is that we trade back we get a running back we get you know powers uh, as a, a center and plug him in maybe move Tyler Seal to tackle and so on that might happen um, listening to my man DMV that his thing is draft a running back just get the running back up early and so on. And I have to say that there is a bit, when I think about this, here's the thing that I think about. Cowboys like to draft the top prospect at a position, no matter where they are in the first round. Second round, they always are trying to get first round talent at a discounted price, and they go for a guy that's had off-field issues or injuries. I hope they don't do that this year. But... The case could be made when you look at the reason why I brought up that offensive line as bad as it was because Tyron Smith only played a couple of games that year before tearing his hamstring off the bone and then came back and had to fill in for Terrence Steele on the right side, a position he hadn't played since his rookie year. It was truly a makeshift line. But even with that line, that line being horrendous, the Cowboys still were 12-5. and five. And that was with Dak Prescott breaking his thumb and Cooper Rush 
winning four out of five games. If you were able to do that, now you've got a Zach Martin and a Tyler Smith, two all-pro guards. I think Terrence Steele will be better. That I don't think that that offensive line is worse than that line was two years ago. Which to me says, maybe the Cowboys look and say, if we get another dynamic playmaker, we're better suited getting that to stretch the field. Be it the running back. Be it the Trey Benson. And maybe you can trade back. Maybe we can take DMV and game time. We trade back. We get ourselves alignment. We get Trey Benson. But I wouldn't be surprised to see a wide receiver in here. Because I think the Cowboys, knowing Mike McCarthy and his DNA, is running back by committee. That they don't want to invest a high draft pick in a running back. They're going to look at this as a guy that we can get in the third, fourth, Oh, excuse me, we don't have a fourth, third, maybe fourth round, fifth round, or sixth round, and look at saying, if we can get a dynamic wide receiver, we can stretch the field and make the job easier for the running backs. That's all I'm saying. In reality, nobody really knows. Nobody really knows. And you never know how a draft is going to shape up. It may be a run on one position where all of a sudden, a guy starts falling to you like C.D. Lamb did. And you look at this and say, we got to take the best player available, even if it is a wide receiver. Or maybe it's a linebacker. Who knows? But the Cowboys are going to want to get a number one prospect there. Whatever it is, we're going to be there, and I hope we have a great time. Um, we are downtown. We're really close to where the draft stage and the NFL experience is. We'll be there a day before all that stuff opens up so we can get there, relax, try some of the local treats. For as men, um, <laughs> bro, we're only a couple of blocks away. I'm thinking a block away from the Coney Island hot dog. No, it's not Pink's hot dogs, but we got the Coney Island. So we'll go there and we'll get a Coney Island foot long just for you, buddy. Just for you. And, of course, I got to get some of that Detroit deep dish pizza. Oh, my God. And, in Greektown, there was a restaurant that was right across the street from the Greektown um, casino that had the best breakfast. I ain't been to Detroit in probably about eight years now, so it's going to be interesting to see how much has changed downtown because... When we were originally going to Detroit, like 2003 and four and five, it was kind of rough <laughs> in downtown Detroit, you know. But uh, it's definitely a city that's turned around and now has a football team that they're proud of. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys tonight. I'm gonna get myself some good rest because the uh, guys will be here tomorrow. I got some work to do to get ready. Um, you know, get all my equipment, make sure my batteries are charged. And that I don't forget anything, and so on. So, I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. And tomorrow will be a great day getting ready for the draft. Remember, good people, remember. Tell the people you love, you love them. You might not get the chance again, good people. And I love you guys. And God willing, I'll see you guys tomorrow as we get ready for our journey to the NFL Draft. Peace.